Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things, a channel dedicated to smart home technology. So yeah, we have it, 100 subscribers and I just wanted to say really a big thank you for all of you watching, all of you commenting and uh, all of my subscribers. Uh, thank you, thank you for making this channel grow. Uh, it really uh, gives me a great pleasure creating all those videos. So thank you again and enjoy this video. So yeah, 100 subscribers. Uh, I have prepared something really appropriate. Uh, today we're making a, well, YouTube subscription counter. Uh, basically it's a seven segment display. You can uh, use it to uh, display basically anything. Uh, it is controlled by an MQTT protocol, so uh, the communication is really easy. Uh, so you need a few things. Uh, first we need a seven segment display, obviously. Uh, then we need a VMOS uh, controller, so basically something that talks uh, to your display via Wi-Fi. Uh, Node MCU, VMOS, whatever, uh, basically uh, the cheap one, uh, the cheap ones work. Uh, and then we will have to do some programming and this is done in uh, Arduino IDE. Uh, it's really easy, so don't worry, uh, all the code is available in my um, GitHub, let's say. Uh, so uh, it will be easy for you to uh, recreate this thing. Uh, as I said in the beginning, it can be used to display your subscribers, your subscribers count, but uh, the principle is uh, really quite easy. So let's let's start. Okay, so as I said, everything is controlled uh, via this uh, VMOS microcontroller. Uh, you can use any ESP. Uh, Wi-Fi controller, but uh, in my opinion VMOS is the best one, the cheapest one, and it just works. It gives you no trouble at all, so uh, uh, my advice if you are a beginner and you don't really know which one to buy and which one to use, just go with, me, with VMOS. It doesn't matter if it's a pro version or uh, the simple version. The simple one is cheaper and works quite fine. So as you can see, uh, it's powered via a USB cable, so you can uh, hook it up to uh, any phone charger or any uh, basically USB uh, socket, so it's really easy to, uh, to power. You can connect even a, a battery to it uh, with, let's say, one dollar uh, battery controller, but uh, this will be a, a, a subject for other video. So, uh, yeah. And as you can see, uh, this is a 7 segment display, it's connected to this VMOS and basically everything works fine. We just need uh, 5 cables, this is uh, VCC, ground, data in, CS and clock. So basically you will have to define it in your application, which one go, which, which cables go to uh, which sockets in, in the VMOS. Uh, in the VMOS uh, controller and it gives you a live, let's say, uh, it depends on the interval you set, but it gives you uh, a, a number display and you can display anything that you want. Okay, so this is how uh, the workflow in Node-RED looks like. Uh, first we have a trigger that basically uh, triggers something every, uh, for me it's 60 minutes, so every, every 60 minutes uh, my YouTube uh, subscribers count is, is being refreshed uh, and after uh, this trigger we have an HTTP request so uh, we have a request that basically goes to YouTube API and asks it for my channel uh, details so it gets back an, uh, a JSON object and this JSON object is being changed uh, so the payload only takes the subscribers count. This subscribers count is being transferred via MQTT uh, protocol uh, and MQTT out note uh, to my Raspberry Pi uh, MQTT broker. Here we have the topic and uh, basically that's really it. Every uh, one hour uh, you can see that Mm, I have here a debug uh, object 
that basically gives uh, us the amount of subscribers shown uh, every uh, interval that uh, this workflow worked. So yeah, it's it's really uh, easy no prep uh, workflow. And now let's get to the code because the code is is well, it's a little bit it's a little bit messy, let's say. Okay, so now the code part. Uh, let's make it easy. Everything uh, will be available on my GitHub page. But we are using the ESP Wi-Fi library, the Andrea Fruit MQTT library, and the LED control .h, uh, library. So first, we have some details about connecting to uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, this this is really uh, basic stuff that you will have in all uh, ESP projects. Uh, then we have the LED control uh, pin uh, numbering. Uh, there is one uh, really, really important part. Uh, the pin uh, load, the, the pin layout is basically uh, designed for uh, an Arduino, so uh, it's not really uh, fitting uh, the port uh, uh, descriptions for the VMOS controller, so you will need to uh, find some uh, pin layout for a VMOS that works with Arduino. Uh, this will be available in the video description. Okay, uh, so uh, now next let's go uh, and see what, what else is uh, in this program. Uh, the, uh, in, in here we have basically a subscription uh, to the subscribers uh, slash count uh, channel in the MQTT broker. And then we have the simple uh, the simple stuff that basically uh, is going on when the uh, when the controller is being powered on. So we have the connection to uh, Wi-Fi, uh, displaying some debugging data, uh, subscribing to the uh, MQTT uh, topic, and then we have the loop command. Uh, the really annoying part about the seven segment display is uh, you basically, uh, at least for, from what I know, you, you can't really uh, say display me number 5129. You can't do that. You have to say please display me number five on position. Uh, four, number three on position, whatever, you get my point. So basically you have to take your number and basically uh, you have to cut it in pieces so it can be displayed in the correct uh, places. Basically correct digits have to be displayed in the correct places. And I also found out that uh, it works the best uh, if you have a small number, the, the rest of the uh, segments uh, stays uh, turned off. So the, this, this small part of code does that. Okay, so this is really uh, this is really an easy program, so don't worry. Uh, you will be able to edit it yourself. So just uh, download it from my GitHub, and you will be set. Okay, so let's uh, sum up a few things. Uh, basically. Uh, step one, uh, get your Wemo, Wemos controller and get your seven segment display uh, from anywhere. Uh, I, did, I, I got it from uh, AliExpress because I'm getting a lot of questions. Where can I buy something? Uh, for me, it's usually AliExpress. So order some stuff and uh, forget about it. And then you get a present because you forgot about it. So it's a surprise. And uh, then uh, basically write that code I, I showed you and upload it to your, uh, to your Vimos. Uh, what remains to be done is the, um, the Node-RED workflow, but that's really just drag and drop uh, some, some parts and it, it will work. So when you uploaded your uh, code to, to the Vimos controller, then after, uh, after the first trigger event in your Node-RED uh, workflow, it will display uh, the number of your subscribers. So easy, it works, don't worry, it updates every interval period, so it's really, it, it doesn't require uh, any control from you. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and please remember to like, share and subscribe to keep this channel grow. See you in the next one. Bye.